السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل جنو وائٹ سٹڈی اف یو ار نیو آن مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو یو ول گیٹ دی نوٹیفیکیشن اف آل دا نیو ویڈیوز ان موسٹ اف دا ریسرچ آرٹیکل یو ہیو سین دیٹ دا موٹیو انالیسس دا ہاؤ ٹو سے ڈومین انالیسس اینڈ دا جین سٹرکچر انالیسس ار ان ون فریم سو ان دس ویڈیو we will talk about that how we will get these three analysis in one frame through tv tool so for this we have some files required that are number one is a list of genes of your studied family that in, in the family in which you are working so how many genes are there in that family so their list we need other is a gff file for gene structure and the most xml file for motif analysis other is the hit data file for domain analysis and the protein sequences of that gene list of the family and other one is a navic tree file and other is a gene rename file these seven files we need for our seven requirements for constructing these uh, three analysis in one frame so how to prepare the most xml for motive analysis heat data for domain analysis navic tree file and gene rename file we have already prepared the separate videos of each analysis and you can find the links of all these videos in the video description in this video description but in this video we also try to do these analysis but in short not in detail the detailed discussion was the uh, present in these videos so in short we also touch each analysis and then we do these three analysis and show them in one frame so let's start so this is our uh, file that contains our gene family so these are the transcripts name and this is the protein sequence of uh, these family genes it is from solenum lycoporsicum uh, but first uh, we will check our gff file so how to download this gff file the link is given in the description so you can follow the process and download that gff file but first we look that how our transcript were written in the gff file because you need to rename your transcripts ids according to the gff file because the tv tool only read the name transcripts name according to the gff file but here our transcript id name is like this and here is a s o l y s is capital and here is a after one there is a g is also is it's a small and uh, at the end there is a dot two but in gff file our transcript of cds here you can see so this is about you can see that this is a s capital o l y c and here is a chromosome and the g is small and then after dot 1 or dot 2 there is some other that dot 1 dot i t a g 2 dot 4 it is the additional so we will rename our transcripts ids according to this gff files transcript id so we need to from here because our transcript id name is same up till this then we need to copy this name that is dot one dot itag two dot four copy it copy and we need to paste in front of each transcript or rename it you can do it manually or you can if you have more ids transcript ids then you can use it tv tool and make these 
rename IDs in just in one click or less than one second the link of that video that how to rename these transcript IDs through TV tool is given here this one you can see here the link of that uh, uh, video in which we have described that how we can rename our transcript IDs in one second so these are a few IDs so that's why I am doing it manually but if you want to if you have some families have more than hundreds or even two or three hundred uh, genes so from that this rename must be done through TV tool these are few so I have done manually so save it now we need to open the TV tool and see watch each file one by one and prepare it open the TV tool go to the graphics and uh, here is the bio seek structure illustrator and gene structure view advanced click on it so first we need the set navic tree so first we construct the navic tree copy that uh, all sequences set all copy open the mega align edit built alignment create new alignment we have protein sequences so like protein paste and then alignment okay then data export mega so here we can align save that alignment Um, file open session align then fellow journey never joining compute so here we have that uh, tree so file export navic tree Ex export and this one is a navic tree so here click on here at here then control a or select all copy open your uh, folder here open the txt file navic tree and here you can paste and save it so at the in second we did MEME -E XML file are masked. First, we delete that mega cross. So now, copy that uh, sequences or sequences copy Google and uh, write mean motif. open this first link so here open this meme click on it now here you can upload the uh, your file we present your uh, protein sequence from here choose and follow the but I usually do this type sequence and here you can paste your copied sequence and uh, drag down here you can put the number of motive, how many motives you need and then search click on start search so it will follow you another window or another page so when the these analysis completed so it is doing that is where your meme job is now queued awaiting available resources so it will take few seconds or one two minutes to analyze and like complete the analysis so when the analysis complete so we need meme xml or mouse xml file so open this click right click open a new tab anyone you can save it 
और मोस्ट एक्समेल सो ओपन दिस सो इट विल कम इन दिस शेप सो राइट क्लिक सेव एस एंड देन यू कैन सेव इट अकॉर्ड इन टू योर डेस्टिनेशन फोल्डर एंड सेव यू कैन डिलीट दिस अनदर वन इज आवर a gff file we already have another one is domain input that we need the uh, cdd data or hit data so for that you need to copy this and then go to the google right ncbi conserve domain search and then here you can right uh, click on conserve domain search so it will lead to you the this uh, page so paste your sequence here you can select your uh, any search engine that if i select pfam and here you can click on submit so it will start the process to find out the domains so uh, sorry that due to the internet connection so i am unable to get that hit data but i have already done this analysis and i have already uh, this file of uh, hit data the detailed uh, analysis of how to get the hit data for cdd you can also watch this video the link of that video is provided here in this uh, uh, tag so you can click and get uh, and this detailed description that how we can get the hit data after that we need that uh, gene input re gene renaming file like you didn't want the, uh, that uh, at the final uh, figure uh, you didn't need you want that these genes transcript ids appear in the final figure you need uh, like uh, uh, you want to that your transcript ids appears in the form of uh, a short gene name so how to rename that first you need to select all copy open any excel sheet excel sheet or go to the tv tool fast and faster to table convert paste fast to table output convert select all copy and then paste and leave these uh, genes so you want to change these names or transcript ids into your gene name like solanum lycopersicum hsp 70-1 i want that in the final figure the name of this transcript id change into or appear in the form of slshp70.1 you can also change it according to your protein family or other and here so i want that this transcript id name was changed into this name gene name so then you can copy and uh, here open a uh, any txt file and here is the gene rename file and open it and paste and save it so this now we have to upload all these files in the uh, tv tool so first we need to paste the navic tree Oh, here we are. This is our navic tree. So here you can select all copy and select all paste navic tree. Here is we can upload our master our mem file that we have just 
made here you can our take our most yes here is most xml file here is a gff file so here is our this one gff file here is we can put domain analysis so here this one cdd results click on it so here you can upload your heat data analysis here is the heat data and here you can uh, upload the FASTA file of your protein sequences and done and uh, here you can upload your gene rename file gene rename file and click on start when you click on start so here are our results that all our the the, the motive the domain and the gene structure appeared in one figure or one frame so from here save graph or click on save graph you can but before you can modify here or here go to the save graph and uh, yeah you can save it in uh, jpg 600 or pdf or any here you can click on save and save into your destination folder that uh, you can here is the domain motive gene structure and save it wait here is save image finish so you can go to your and here is domain motive structure and now here it is our this one is our figure so here our final the gene names are come in according to our gene transcript by this according to our gene names like this one here this is a motive domain and gene structure of this gene this this so in this way through tb2 we can make the motive domain and gene structure in one frame in one click or in one figure you can now modify it in adobe or paint or any other software to make it more beautiful or it is you can use it in the manuscript as it is so this is all about gene structure domain and more different analysis if you have any question query please contact me please like share Thank you.